Buonasera a tutti, eh, grazie di essere venuti. Stasera presentiamo questo documentario che Ian Arlan, il produttore di, della maggior parte dei film di Kubrick, eh, ha, ha prodotto appunto e realizzato sulla, sulla sua vita. Eh, si chiama A Life in Pictures e io a questo punto vi presento Ian Arlan che appunto sicuramente potrà dire molte più cose di me. Ian, a te. Uh, I'm terribly sorry that, that my Italian is limited to adagio and uh, molto allegro and, and words like this, <laughs> basically a musical term, so I hope you all speak English. And um, of course, this film is subtitled in Italian. Um, well, I'm a tourist today and I have such a fantastic time in Rome. And as soon as I am done here, I'm going out again and go into the town. And if you have half as good a time watching this film as I have walking through the streets of Rome, you are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, for, for me, it, it was a tremendous possibility to make this film. After having worked with Stanley Kubrick for 30 years, and his sudden unexpected death left such a void. I was panic-stricken. I saw a shot had been cut. Yes, it was finished in that respect, but we still had to do music mixing and lots of things, and it was just, oh. I mean, the combination of the film not being really finished and Stanley not being alive, and it, it was just a total nightmare. But, um, there's a line in Eyes Wide Shut, Sydney Park says, well, life has to go on until it doesn't. And, you know, Sandy didn't realize how, how terribly true this line rings. Anyway, I am glad that he considered Eyes Wide Shut his greatest contribution to the art of the cinema. He, I observed him in the last three years with this film and, and he took it so seriously and he was like a candle burning on both ends, but he was satisfied with it. It was so difficult for him to be satisfied himself, um, and he was, and that really was a tremendous consolation for me. Um, I then had the opportunity of making this film and I was astonished that everybody I asked, yes, said right away, yes, yes, of course, we contribute. Even Jack Nicholson, uh, who, who is normally not doing these things for his own films, said yes. And the only person I'm missing is Ingmar Bergman, because Stanley loved Ingmar Bergman, and I, I for some reason, couldn't, couldn't get him involved. But I had other people he admired, like Martin Scorsese and Woody Allen, they, they contributed. And all our people who are in the film are people who knew him, who had you know, first-hand experience with this man. So there are no theoreticians. Um, and um, yeah, I, 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 hope, I hope you like this, because you get a true insight, I think, into this wonderful man, this great artist, Stanley Kubrick. And um, now he, he always said, um, I, I never introduce a film. Uh, because if you introduce a film, in, in a way, you are saying indirectly that there's something wrong with it. Uh, a film should speak for itself. Well, on the other hand, I was asked to speak to you very briefly. So thinking of Stanley, and maybe he's watching me. <laughs> and saying, well, I mean, don't you remember I told you never introduce a film? <laughs> I shall stop right now. And I uh, wish you a very, very good two hours. I tried to make the film reasonably light and entertaining, not lecturing at all. So uh, that you go away with an impression of a man who was not only very, very serious, that he was, also very funny. Um, Buonasera. <laughs>